Hi everyone and welcome to this week's group of readings. Um, probably from the thumbnail you can see that we are going to be receiving messages from the Oakman. And this is something that I know many of you have requested um, off and on for a little while. If you're not familiar with my channel, stay tuned and you'll understand the Oakman a little bit better. Those of you that are familiar with the channel, this may be something that you might be quite excited to um, hear and receive from. Um, to be honest, I would have loved to have heard from the Oakman as well too, but I was not connecting with them, whether that was because of me, because of them, because of, I don't know what, it's just the messages come when the messages come. So this is the week of the Oakman. The Oakman are going to be speaking to each zodiac sign as we work through and starting with Aries all the way to sweet Pisces. Um, I will put, if you're not familiar with the Oakman, or even if you are and you would like to kind of relive some of the readings that they have given us in the past, at the end of this reading, there'll be options where you can choose um, another video of mine to, clip on, to click on, or you can choose like a series of videos that come from my video library. The Oakman have their own library in my video assortment, so you can go right there and you can see them. The Oakman came to us, they pushed through um, a message, actually it's quite funny that I was doing for Aries at the time and at the time it was the first time that their energy had come through and it was just a general reading for Aries and I didn't realize what it was at the time but it was all actually leading up to the start of the pandemic and they were really showing us massive changes that were about to occur, tower moments, false emperors falling all around, it was quite quite fascinating. Um, and they took us through most of the pandemic and then they just sort of like faded away, to be quite honest. I want to say in the last year and a half to two years on my channel and now they are here and I could not feel more, um, I guess, in alignment with the urge to speak with the Oakman. Their card is sitting here with the next, the first Zodiac that I'm about to do and the sun is shining through the card and through their eyes. So here we are, my friends and the long awaited. Oakman. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading with me Cindy and the Oakman. We're going to get right into the uh, Shaman Oracle deck. We're going to see what message the Oakman have for you. What message the Oakman have for Capricorn. Capri corn. <laughs> I never noticed that before. It's like Capri, like Capri pants and corn. <laughs> that was such a fascinating name. Capri corn. I like that. I'm gonna Capri corn. Okay, what's the deal? Taming the wind. Okay, I get it now. All right, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. This is my third time trying to do your reading, which is odd because they've all just like flowed like crazy. And after the second attempt, it's just like the cars were just not talking. And I didn't get it. So I just stopped and um so I'm gonna tell you, it's all making sense. I'm going to tell you exactly the cards that came out because it, it's weird, right? Like, I mean, it makes sense now. It was like it was building up in layers. And I've started to recognize that sometimes. Like, there was a time where I would do a reading and it wouldn't go. I'm like, oh, shit, I need to change the deck. I mean, it's, sometimes it is, but it wasn't this. This deck has been way too talkative to suddenly become quiet. So I've learned that because when I finally hit the spot, and it's often the third time, it's like, shit, now I understand why those other cards came out. Because they were like, they were building up a message. The first card that you came out in my first attempt was stand still. Okay. And then like, just, I kind of don't remember the other cards, but it, I was the, no, I don't. No, that was the second time. I don't know what came out after that. Um, Stand still, right? And then I tried it again. I reshuffled everything, got into it. And the wind was the one that came in. And I'm like, that's the complete opposite. <laughs> what the hell? And that was Journey. The other ones that came out with it, Journey, Andy, and Cross. And I don't remember. Was something about 
I don't remember. And for a moment there, I kind of got like, almost like somebody trying to slow down so that they're at a, slowing down at a point in their journey where they needed to squeeze through the hole in the Andean cross. But like nothing else came. And I was just thinking, okay, I got to do the third time. And I thought, I feel like this is going that way where it's building something up. And you get it now? Do you see that? Because taming the wind, third time lucky here. And what did, what did I just pull out? Stand still, wind, felt like your journey had to slow down to go through the eye of the needle, right? Like the hole in the Andean cross. Taming the wind. It is. It's slowing something down here. Slowing something down to go through the eye of the needle. So you're at a point in a journey here where I feel like you have been... Maybe picking up speed, picking up speed. I mean, it could be a project. It feels very big though, like life, like to slow this down. And I also, I, you know, it's gotta be because for me to have to do three times for this message to get built up to the point that I understand it is that it's like you kind of get three readings, but you get them all put into one. And it is your journey is perhaps sped up, but now it needs to slow down. You need to tame the momentum to fit through the eye of the needle like to keep your so it is it's like focus and it is um accuracy what comes with this the lower world wild woman that's funny it kind of goes with taming the wind the rainmaker Oh, you're the storm. You're the storm and you need to rain. But you need to rain in a particular place. Ha! Huh. So you're the storm, Capricorn. You blow through. <laughs> you blow through. But you need to do more than just blow through somewhere. You need to um to to bless <laughs> like with the rainmaker, like because I feel like you know with these winds and these storms actually no, I don't remember the other cards. I don't even think I looked at the underlying except for the first one. And that was thunder. Right? So it is, it's sort of like uh really hitting on that point here. Oh, medicine, yes. You need to heal the earth keeper. <laughs> that means it just came out. You need to heal the earth keeper and rain down on them. You make the rain. You provide the blessing. Because you are the wind. <laughs> you are the wind. You're totally the wind being asked to just stop for a second. Right? Stand still was your first card. The second one was was wind. <laughs> the wind. And now you're you're taming the wind. So you're supposed to calm your storm. But you're wild. <laughs> you're like this wild dark energy. <laughs> no. With the underworld. Perhaps you've okay, the other thing I'm seeing is almost like something that it's like you've been catapulted out of the lower world. Don't want you here. What is this shit? Like, it just feels like that, right? Like just because it feels like your energy was moving quite quickly. And I feel like, like, but this is beautiful. Like, like underworld, wild woman. And then rain though, these blessings. But so it just, it feels as if maybe you were in a dark area. The underworld liked you there. The lower world was like, yeah, it's good. Stay here. But then something changed in you and then it's almost like getting ejected from the lower world. Out of here. No, don't bring that sunshine in here. It feels like that. So however that, whatever that means. But then I think it has something to do with this wild woman. There's a sense of freedom with it. So 
the lower world I feel like likes to pull on our uh, likes to figure out ways like it just feels very devilish which is kind of funny right here we are talking about you but you always trying to free yourself from these types of energies in this lifetime and overcome them so you have that's telling me that you've overcome this it's ejected you which is why you're kind of like flying flying forward but you need to slow down and make some rain here so you need to slow down because the rain is a blessing and i don't know who the earth keeper is but it's like healing and healing the earth keeper or maybe the earth keeper is going to heal you i don't know maybe there's uh, yeah i don't know taming the wind And it's like this wild wind. But I see the reason I try to get the Earth Keeper needs like the healing, or we'll take the healing, we'll take this medicine because the rain, like right, it uh, it provides the um, the Earth. It uh, it uh, rectifies dryness. I don't know. I'm not the right words coming up for that. Oh, Lord. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. It nurtures, it soothes the earth. Okay, Taming the Wind. And you have Lower World Wild Woman Rainmaker. See, that wouldn't have made that much sense to me if I hadn't done the other two. They were short. They were like two two minute readings. <laughs> Taming the wind. Salvation. Wow. This is like blowing through towns and then you hit the right town. You need to stop there. The lower world. <laughs> wow. I told you you got catapulted out. Rebirth. That's crazy shit. That is serious. That's cool. Oh. Look at this. The Rainmaker and Isis are mirrored numbers. 24 and 42. The Rebirth and the Rainmaker. Ooh. Um, maybe you have to find all the parts of Osiris and put them together again. Complete <laughs> dumpty. The Wild Woman, New Beginnings. Wow, there's a huge sense of um, freedom here. <laughs> freedom, New Beginnings, Tame This Wind. Maybe you have been like a storm or you've been in storms and you've sort of become this wild wind because it feels like, like it needs to be tamed. Or you've been taming, like maybe it's the storm around you and taming it. But okay, Rainmaker, compassion. Oh, that's beautiful. This is showing compassion. I think it's showing and receiving compassion. Okay, so this this energy feels to me um, a little bit like, you know, storms always get bad raps. Storms just being storms, man. Storms just being like earth inhaling and exhaling, really. Earth needs to breathe. But we build things around um, the respiratory system of earth and then when Earth is like, I'm just trying to breathe here, everyone gets upset about it. It can be destructive to us from our perspectives. And I don't want to put that, um, I don't want to discount that because, yeah, like people, lives and homes can be lost. So it is, but Earth is just being Earth, okay? So I kind of feel like like this is your energy. Your Capricorn is just being Capricorn, man. Um, and there's a sense of... Um, because where I'm going with that is the rainmaker and compassion. Like this is your salvation. This is almost like seeing the benefits of your storm. Like something here. It's like you need to stop for a second. Because the, just slow the wind down. There's a unique aspect of you that is you. And it can't be changed. 
it honest like it can't be changed it's who you are oh shit compassion and wild woman are mirrored numbers 62 and 26 but that's what i'm saying it's like you're entering an energy you're entering a cycle you're entering a realm you're entering a place you're meeting a person however it is and there's an aspect of you that can't be changed um but it can be it can be harnessed and the benefits of it can be appreciated that's actually kind of cool and this is your salvation i don't even know so someone, someone might be trying to tame your wind <laughs> What's at the bottom? No, no, yeah. I could do, okay. Assurance. There's a beautiful growth here. Oh, I love it, though. Like, something will grow of this, right? And it makes sense. It's the earth keeper in the rain. You bring the rains to the earth keeper. And this is medicine because it allows something to grow. Ah, do you see? This is why this energy, I don't know what this is, but there's an energy here that you are so perfect for because I want to say you and this energy are perfect for each other. There's seeds here that need that a that need the soil to, to keep them to ground them to give them nutrients, right? It's like that's part of what the earth keeper job is job is to do. And then but there's but you are kind of like the storm that comes in. And, you know, sometimes you might blow everything away. Or if this is an energy that, hey, I want to say, can harness the benefits of you. Then there is an assurance of growth. And that things can grow in, in these two energies. Okay, I didn't need to pull any additional cards for the Earth Keeper. And medicine. Well, the underline explains it. Um, yeah. But the lower world, right? Shit. With ISIS, this seems crazy. Like, what a crazy synchronicity. Oh, my God. I'm, like, looking because I'm being told there's another mirrored number, and there is. The lower world and new beginnings. 31 and 13. And they're all happening on diagonals. 31 and 13 are diagonal from each other. 62 and 26 are diagonal from each other. 42 and 24 are long diagonals across the whole spread. What are the chances of that? Like, that's crazy. That is crazy. I don't know what that means. It's just like, it just seems like there's something, something numerolo numerological there. <laughs> Say that right? Like, that these numbers are mirror. But again, it is like the earth keeper and the rainmaker. Together, there is an assurance of growth. And this is medicine. Now, this medicine wheel came out in another reading this week and it's interesting because it started off as um like the snake or the serpent i remember what the card is called but it is a snake chasing its tail and it symbolized in that reading um and i'm only bringing it up because just give me a second uh, so it symbolized in that reading like perpetual ancestral wounds you know like uh, ancestral energies habits that uh this sign was breaking i think is it scorpio i think it was scorpio and so this this symbolized that all the energies that took place to break that because the snake in this medicine wheel is no longer chasing its tail it's moving freely which is interesting right because there's something here about reciprocation huge reciprocation like the earth keeper it grounds the seeds, right? The 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 wind, the storm, which I feel like is you, brings the rains. 
to cause, to allow things to grow, the seeds to grow. You both have something here. And if the right element doesn't come in, I want to say the earth keeper could look perhaps um, dry, stuffy, always, always holding back on some form of growth stubborn could even be well maybe you're the earth sign no you're the wind <laughs> you're the wind i'm pretty sure about that unless this is about you trying to tame a wind <laughs> every time i say that i literally see like some old uncle farting a lot it's driving me nuts i don't know i can't help it i've got the mind of a child half the time so anyways <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then you, well, I, I'm going to keep saying it because damn, no, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, the wind. The wind, it's almost like it's just seen as something that blows through. It causes turmoil. It causes havoc. It causes destruction. But if it can be harnessed properly and slowed down, it will make, it will produce some rain. <laughs> it just won't like blow through. It will produce some rain. And I feel like too, like compassion, um, that with wild woman there is oh, i don't know the earth keeper the earth keeper somehow like these two energies are compassionate towards one another because maybe misunderstood in the energy that they exist in but you know when the, the wind comes through and can produce the rain it's like oh, oh i know why you were hanging on to all those seeds because they're important and you needed the right element for them to grow. You needed the rain. Yeah, look, look what that I'm gonna rain. <laughs> you hold you give them a root system, right? You give them a root system. Give them the nutrients. I'll provide the nitrogen and the water. And then like the earth keeper's like, yeah, I totally get <laughs> why. You need to blow through sometimes because there's no seeds for you to water there. You could just lose your water and what would be the point of that? So so I, I kind of want to say it's A, I want to feel like one energy is perhaps being recognized by others as uh, not willing to share in some way or not willing to grow with you. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm hanging on for the right thing. I'm hanging on for the right element that will allow these seeds to grow. And then the other one is the, the windstorm rain is an element that I feel like probably gets parasited a lot because it's got this like, right, it flows out. Oh, here, I'll give you this. Here, take this water. But everybody wants the water. It's like a blessing. But the blessing needs to be bestowed in the right area. <laughs> Salvation, rebirth, new beginnings compassion here so there's also a sense of knowing one's personal value and when you know your value you can recognize values that may not be exactly the same as yours but when you put the two of them together it's amazing what you can make <laughs> right it is because you can't make a cake out of just flour you need flour and eggs and milk or water and a little bit of oil and something to rock you know like you need all these ingredients put together but there's definitely i feel like that i feel like the earth maker would hold the seeds in the earth and because of that people would recognize like not no or And there's something coming in with that, and I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Um, it's coming in a bit sexual, so if you don't want to hear it, you don't have to hear it. Um, I don't know. Actually, it's not even... It's more... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of reproductive, right? With the seed and something growing. And I don't... I don't mean... I like the mess. Describe it. I, I could only describe it as, well, yeah, okay, here's a way to describe it. It could, okay, you could look at the earth maker as a masculine sign. And then the masculine has the seeds, right? Um, actually, 
you could really because the rainmaker has like the the water the wild woman rainmaker has the womb and the 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 water the water like the water is what breaks when it gives birth and there's the the womb provides the moisture and anyways it's very organic but um it, it's like that but it's like the earth keeper not wanting to put his seeds in any in the wrong womb where it won't grow so it's weird it's just coming in like that um and it's persistent so i gotta say it i'm trying to say it the right way because i don't want to sexualize it i mean it could be a sexual union of some type but it's it's more than that it's definitely more than that it is like yes and i mean i want to say the value too there's something um, very valuable about that in a masculine uh because you know toxic masculine energy you can see i just put my seeds everywhere i don't care what what happens to them or where they grow or they don't grow there's some sense of um uh yeah uh, pride and responsibility in the earth keeper i don't know how that plays out with you <laughs> with the wild woman rainmaker Okay, I'm going to say not receptive, right? Not receptive. So both these energies are really intriguing. So I don't know if this Earth Keeper energy, I mean, this is kind of pulling away from the more kind of mystical spiritual. It's kind of like grounding into very practical possibilities here in um, people's experiences. I want to say there could be something here with this Earth Keeper energy. I feel like it's a masculine and I feel like um, feminine's trying to become pregnant by this masculine. It's like, yeah, he's stingy with his sperm. <laughs> that is what it is, you know, <laughs> stingy with his sperm. But then, oh, this, this womb is, <laughs> this one, this one's a tease. This one could be perceived as a tease, like the wind, this wild wind that comes in. And it doesn't let, it doesn't let just any sperm in. <laughs> I don't know. I never had a message like that before. It's kind of interesting. I'm continuing to look at numbers here because I am saying there's something playing out with the salvation and the earth keeper. It's uh, 17 and 18 are playing out with that. So now they're falling in a line. The salvation of the Earth Keeper. But it's also the salvation of Taming the Wind. I'm going to say, from just, you know, what's come out so far too, is that both of these energies, I would say, are very sought after. The Earth Keeper too... There could be some like earthly wealth here. Wealth is status. Being like and ways people are trying to get these seeds. And I just keep seeing it like seeds of the masculine. But this this taming wild wind woman, the rain, but it doesn't, she doesn't make the rain for anybody, for everybody. That's the thing. She doesn't make the rain for everyone. I, I, but I feel like too, because there's both rebirth and new beginnings sitting beside each other. And everything is like parallels, which is crazy. Parallels here. Um, that both of these energies perhaps were taken advantage of at some point. Or well, maybe this um this masculine did get into some sort of relationship through impregnation something like that in the past and then maybe this um wild wind woman <laughs> rain someone uh convinced her to to pour her reins out to flow you know there's also a sense of like um i mean it's true um, for the feminine, like uh, wetness with sexual excitement, but also ovulation, because uh, when a feminine is ovulating, it's like you can't even help that. I don't know. 
It's odd, this energy. It's, and I, I'm really trying not to sexualize. And then, you know, you could take a serious message because you know I'm quick to go there and be like, I can't. Oh my God, you know what I just said? But no, nah, there's something about that here. And it's like, no, that's serious. Like it's Cindy being serious here. Cindy being serious because the message is serious in that. Um, but this rain, because it brings abundance, it brings blessings. So, but it's turned into the wind, like it just blows through. And the earth keepers turned stingy. <laughs> so, that's what but no, I feel like these two energies somehow come together and it's like, oh, I would put my, I would, and it's, it doesn't have to be like somebody wanting to get you pregnant. It could be like wanting to have a family with someone, like it could be that for sure. Um, and that is definitely the place that I would invest myself into that. I would share my wealth. I would bless you with my my blessings like that that's what that feels like and then there but see because i think compassion because compassion is here there's a sense of both understanding why the other is the way they are i'm gonna go do the extended and in the extended we're going into the fairies we're gonna see um what else, what other fairies what glominous <laughs> gloom it was at the bottom of someone else's. I think it was Scorpio. Yeah, I think it was Scorpio, which is funny because like that medicine wheel, that something, so maybe too, there's something here about two people um, kind of cleansing or clearing um, ancestral wounds, habits. This feminine could have been way too giving, and this masculine could have been too easily entrapped. Okay, so that's <laughs> why I just keep going with this. So that's what we're gonna do in the extended. Okay, until <laughs> so next time, Capricorn, do be gentle with yourselves. Bye.